His progress has been as gradual as a tortoise on ice, but Ron Paul can no longer be dismissed as the favorite of the fringe. You know who that was? Ron Paul. Who is it? Ron Paul. Right? Ron Paul. So you know about Paul. I do. In this none-of-the-above Republican campaign, the physician-turned-Texas congressman is making a name for himself. Ron Paul. I'm Ron Paul. Unlike other candidates consigned to the periphery, Paul has refused to go away. In a tie now for third in Iowa with supposed top-tier hopefuls. And in Live Free or Die New Hampshire, he believes his anti-Iraq war, anti-tax, pro-freedom message with its libertarian tinge... They like to be left alone. ...may resonate. People are flocking to the campaign. Maybe they've been starved for a campaign like this. Paul's trip to Plymouth was promising. <laughs> that is the next president you're following. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. No doubt. His supporters are fervent, almost feverish, here on the ground, but especially online. Paul has used the Internet to drum up the bulk of an eye-popping $18 million in this quarter alone from what he says are frustrated members of both parties and first-time voters. I am surprised, but I'm disappointed that I'm surprised. If money talks, Ron Paul is shouting. So why shouldn't this be a popular message? Why were we? Why was I pessimistic? Paul left us with one more question and answered it himself with a smile. Why do we assume that everybody wants the status quo? And evidently they don't. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Plymouth, New Hampshire.